it's weird the mixed emotions really because obviously you know the, the opportunity to play at Super and Reacher 300 game is, is an incredible milestone but I think from my point of view it's quite sad that the crowd wasn't there to to give him the send off he deserves even though the outpouring of kind of love and respect was everywhere and, and well deserved and I think lots of corners of the, the media and the rugby world next players and friends came out and said that I mean to reach 300 games is, is unbelievable anyway I think to do it in the way he did it where he was so consistent for such a long time you know Tins will probably agree with me for the first time ever in 2011 he should have gone to the World Cup um, I remember with the final trial we had at Twickenham uh, I remember him like going through the middle of a mall getting a turnover <clears> and I actually said to him after his, you know and they, then he got announced I just remember speaking him saying I don't understand how you haven't gone on this thing it's it's nothing to do with your ability and you just need to understand that but you know he's been brilliant obviously you know I I saw an article today about him in 2015 you know I've said it before he was unfairly hung out to dry by the public and media and actually he held his he held his counsel so not to throw other people under the bus and I was in that huddle on that field and uh, it was not his fault in any way shape or form it doesn't it wasn't anybody's fault but in decision making, you know, he was no, given no options. And I think it's his, it's his story to tell, but I think it was very unfair. And I think the British public and media, we love to victimise people and, and choose someone to have a go at. But I'm glad that he, that he got a chance with Eddie to come back, to bury the hatchet. I'll never forget the game, first game against Wales back at Twickenham and him yeah. just sitting in a changing room, head in hands in tears. And I'm sitting next to him. I was like, mate, you did it. You know, you, you sort of buried that demon, all the emotion and all that hurt came out of him. And then he were obviously able to win the Grand Slam Six Nations and, he obviously missed out on the World Cup, but I think he's been an incredible servant. And I don't, you don't meet many people who don't who don't have a who don't like him. You know, unlike me. 